Moving on to Mali now, where an inauguration is scheduled for September 4th. President-elect Ibrahim Boubacar Keita is pledging to restore Mali's reputation as a democratic country both, both abroad and at home. President-elect Ibrahim Boubacar Keita thanked the Malian people in Bamako recently for giving him a strong mandate to seek peace with northern separatists and for sweeping reforms to the army after a military coup. A travers un vote clair et net. Through a vote clear and neat, Malians chose to bring me to the presidency of the republic. I would like to launch here a vibrant message to the Malian people, who once more were at crossroads of history. Cater is expected to be sworn in in September, now that Mali's constitutional court has confirmed that he won the presidential election with 78% of the vote. Once portrayed as a model democracy, Mali imploded when a military junta, frustrated by a lack of progress in tackling a Tuareg rebellion in the north, toppled President Amadou Toumani Touré. Cater said his first priority will be to forge a lasting peace with Tuareg rebels. My first task after September 4th, 2013, will be to work to bring together all Malian men and women no matter who they are, so everybody can find his or her place. Many in the country's populous south, however, are strongly opposed to ceding more autonomy and funds to the northerners who they blame for the country's current crisis. Cater also faces huge challenges in reforming the military, tackling widespread corruption and reviving Mali's ailing economy. Mali is set to receive 3.25 billion euros in reconstruction aid pledged at a conference in Brussels in May. The United States, which congratulated Mali's peaceful, inclusive and credible election, has also pledged to lift restrictions on aid after Cater's inauguration. It's a new era opening up, full of promises and challenges. It's a new era of the new Mali, a sovereign Mali respected internationally and at home. I will be the president of a dignified and proud Mali. God willing. Former presidential candidate Sumaila Sise, who conceded defeat in the runoff, pledged to give Mali a real opposition for the first time in years. Cater has promised zero tolerance for corruption. Many Malians are waiting now to see if Cater will pack the cabinet with his backers to repay political favors or name a technocrat government many say is needed to push through much needed reforms. Well, we want to know what you think about Africa 54. Please join the conversation on Facebook. The address is VOA Africa 54. And, of course, check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.